Look at the smile, guys. I love my smile. Look at that. Look at my smile, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome to Anna Kay's journey. Another video that I'm, I'm about to do. I'm so, so, so excited, guys. And thank you so, so much for subscribing, commenting, and sharing my previous videos. Oh, guys. Guys. Thank you for the comments you guys have shared your experience and all that and it motivated me to do more more and more 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 videos and all that and i believe I'm, i was not the only one who went through that peer pressure um sense of belonging identity crisis or body shaming and all that you guys have shared on instagram on my whatsapp on youtube on my channel your comments down guys hip hip well done guys thank you so 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 much you guys have given a positive vibe and all that and um the other thing is that you guys hmm if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for what are you doing with your life why are you watching my video and you're not subscribing i'm joking but if you haven't yet subscribed please do it like do it <laughs> subscribe i'm waiting so, um, guys, I have posted on my Instagram and on my WhatsApp, Facebook also, asking what video you guys would love me to do next and all that. And I have got a lot of um, comments. People have uh, commented, inboxed me on what I should um, post on my next video and all that. And the majority is that I should um, tag my sisters. And some said I should do a friend tag. So, guys, give me. You guys need to vote. Should I do a sister tag who knows me better or should I do a friend tag who knows me better between my friends? And if um, you guys want me to do a sister tag, then I will bring my sisters on my channel and um, I will ask them different questions and then I will see who knows me better and the person that knows me better will win a prize. Okay? Same applies with my friends. So if I have to bring two of my friends on my channel, the one that knows me better, like the one that knows me better, will win a prize, okay? So you guys leave in the comment section what you guys will love me to do. Is it a sister tag, a friend tag, or what? <laughs> then I will definitely deliver, I will definitely do that. So I'm so, so excited on my video that I am gonna do now. It's, uh, you are worth more than your past. So in, in life, excuse me not in time but in life in life as we go through this journey right we have our past and sometimes we allow our past to define who we are sometimes we let what have hurt us in the past still still a moment in our present a moment in our future or a year or a minute or a month and all that so i'm gonna share how i have overcame my past and if we are talking about your past we might be talking about um maybe you went through abuse or you were sexually abused raped or harassed or just something that happened into you your past maybe you got dumped and you went through crisis to let go of your ex or to how to overcome that and you went through difficulties or you're still going through that difficulties on how to go about your past and how to leave it and it's still hurting you or your past is still damaging you and all that so i'm going to share steps that i how i have applied it in my life and it's working it's something that i have been reading and all that so i um, i decided to check out. Why don't you share how you have overcame your past as a Christian? So as a Christian, I didn't allow my past to identify who I am or to define who I am. Because sometimes as we grow up and we, we tend to, to be someone, we let our past lead us to be that person, though we are not supposed to be that person. If just because you were hurt badly in your past and then your past decides uh, push you or define you to be which i know i'm not worth it I, I i don't deserve someone better just because you were hurt or your past now define you that all other guys are not the, the uh, they are the same you know there's this say oh all oh, guys are the same just because you were hurt by one guy then you decide which i know all these guys are the same no let us not 
allow our past to steal a minute, an hour, a month, a second, or a decade to your future. So I'm gonna share how I have overcame that, or how I apply that, or how I have applied that in my life. Cause sometimes, you know, if maybe you used to steal, or you you did something bad in your past or you got hurt so sometimes society take us as that person as you were in the past but i have my bible we are gonna do more of the reading here we are gonna go deep into the word <laughs> i don't know why i'm so excited today for this video but yeah so um number one right i'm gonna share some few steps so number one as a christian you don't allow your past to define who you are for if we read in second Cor corinthians second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 it reads as follow therefore if anyone is in christ the new creation has come the old has gone the new is here so if you are in christ as a christian you accept christ as your savior and you believe in him as a christian the old is gone and the new has come so whatsoever you did in the past is gone god has forgiven you you don't belong to your past and you have nothing to do with your past but you have learned something right and you're not gonna fall into it exactly right because some people um, oh there was a preaching where it says um a preacher from my church says um sin is like vomit right now imagine you going back to your vomit you will not want to go back to your vomit and ah uh, that's so disgusting so you will never want to go back to your past like if he was abusing you, if he was beating you, harassing you, or doing anything to you, you will never want to go back to, to that person, right? And so you don't even want to allow him to steal peace or joy from your life, right? So sometimes we are struggling with that and it's busy destroying our inner us. So I'm going to share all that. <laughs> so let us not allow our past to define us. For the scripture in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says that the old has gone. So your past is gone and you are a new creation. Now if you are a new creation, everything is gone. You don't have to look back. So it's, it's gone. You become... You become your true identity to him so you become your true identity to god he has forgiven you and you are no longer condemned if we look in john 3 verse 16 it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only son his only begotten son that whoever believe in him shall have eternal life and you by having eternal life is by going through the right path with him that you have read go of your 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 past and you have picked up your cross and you followed him so you have nothing to do with your past at all is gone 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 your past is gone gone and number two your past circumstances can't be changed but you can change so some people are like yeah i can't change anything that happened to me now what must i do yes I, we, I understand you can't change anything it happened it happened you can't redo anything but you yourself you can change isn't it yes you can change <laughs> you 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 don't live in the past you can't do anything about your past but you will never change whether it's yesterday last year or whatsoever but you have the final say and you have the final will and you have the choice to to determine how your present will be how your future will be though you can't change your past but you so you have all the authority on how to run your life, you know. So the future is yet to be determined and can be influenced by what, by, it can be influenced by what you do today. Today is the only day that really matters, you know. So they say what you spend today as if it's your last day ever because you never know when the, uh, the time to come you never know when christ is coming you never know when you are dying and all that so today is the day to spend your your life the way you want it to be and how you spend your life will contribute towards your internal life if you die now how did you contribute to your internal life you know so your past doesn't matter what matters now is what you do now and what you contribute towards your internal 
And sometimes you, you struggle with whatsoever you have done in your life. Like, no, but I'm not wealthy. Uh, I'm so dirty. I'm so disgusting. Can God ever forgive me and all that? Regardless of how dirty your past is or how disgusting your past is, yes, God can forgive you. Sometimes you look at your past and you're like, ah, this shameful past. However, how shameful your past is, God can forgive you. That is why he sent his only begotten son for us to have a closer relationship with him. Like we are so, so close with him that if you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive. So we don't let our past hinder us or squeeze us or what. So, oh, I think I love the word squeeze. Now. <laughs> Turn us around and play with us and entertain us and push us left corner, right corner. Mm -mm. We don't allow that. For the Bible says, if you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive. And definitely, he is a, a faithful God. He is grace man. Yeah, he came to save us and we are saved indeed. So if we look. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 11 says, or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, oh my God, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor the drunkards, nor slanders, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Imagine. So if you do that, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. Who am I to judge? We leave it to this. But I want us to focus on verse 11. And that is what some of you were, right? You were like that. The Bible say that is what some of you were. And that is your past. That is in the past. Maybe you used to fornicate, you used to steal, you used to do wrong things. It says wrong to us here. So that is what you were in the past. But we are not allowing our past to define who we are. So it continues. And that is what some of you were. But you were washed. Hmm, we were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the Spirit of God. So regardless of how your past was. How disgusting is. The Bible says that is where that is how you were back then in the past. But now you are washed, you are cleansed, you are clean. Imagine it says his blood washes whiter than snow. So you are clean, your past is gone. He's not going to look back and see how dirty your past was and all that because he has cleaned and he is faithful and just to forgive as I have spoken previously. And the ones maybe I'm wondering, uh, but where does the Bible say you if you confess your sins and whatnot? So it's in First John chapter one verse nine. First John chapter one verse nine. It says, "If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness." <laughs> He will da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 purify us. So I believe we all have a scar, right? You had a wound, it healed, and then it leaves a mark, isn't it? So I bent here. I bent here, right? <laughs> I bent here. So I was cooking, and I, I hold the pot, and then I bent here. It was painful for weeks, right? And then I got treated. I got treated. And then the wound healed, and then it left a scar. It left a mark. Same with your past, right? If you got hurt, you were heartbroken and all that, definitely it will be a wound, your inner wound. Now here we are busy talking about your inner wound. Inside you are heartbroken, you are damaged and all that. And it's only the word of God that can heal you. When you go for treatment, you apply the word of God. You pray daily, you, you apply the word of God and all that every time. So that is the healing process, the healing process. Until you are healed. It doesn't mean you will forget your past, but you are healed. 
the same I, I i won't forget that i have bent from this car from this the mic that is here i i, I bent it hurt it was painful but i have overcame that i am completely healed that is how it has to be also with our past yes you got hurt you went through the process and you are now healed you are fine you will still remember about that painful event that happened but it's no more hurting it's no more it's no more destroying you because you are healed just by applying the word of god or also by not allowing to uh, by not allowing the your past to define who you are and all that you are completely healed but you might remember or when you see the person that have hurt you you might remember oh this person has done this but you hold nothing against to, uh, against them because you are completely healed that is how it has to be it's not easy i'm not saying it's easy it's, it is a process that you will go through it's never easy it is a process to go through and when you go through it mounts you it builds you up and you gain more confidence and you it you it shapes you so we move on so we we move on your past shapes you as i was saying you are not to dwell there it, when it shapes you you don't have to to dwell and be comfortable like yeah i always get hurt so what mm -mm, mm -mm. that is what that is not what you are called for <laughs> so you are not called for you to be hurt every time mm -mm. so we need to send to 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 change the way to come and say we need to change the way we think so if we go in romans 12 to is it romans yeah romans 12 to it says do not confirm to the pattern of this world so do not confirm to what the world defines you or to what your past defines you Mm -hmm. Why was I? But the transformed by renewing, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So sometimes if you let your past define you, it blocks you from what God has installed from you, for you, or for what God has for you. It, it blocks that because it destroys you. You can't live a purposeful life while you are so sour and so with, with anger and aggressive and all that. So we need to renew our mind, our thoughts and back and go back to feet. Like, I'm doing this, I'm renewing my mind. My past is not defining who I am. Like, this is not me. So it says do not be confirmed to the pattern of this world. So you let that go. Like, let it go, my sister. So when you are dealing with um, letting go of your past and all that, it has also to do with forgiveness. You have to forgive regardless of how painful or how shameful or how disgusting it was. You need to forgive. Number one, you need to forgive yourself. You need to accept that, yes, I have done this and this doesn't define me and I can be someone better than what I have done in my past. So you need to forgive yourself. And sometimes you're like, no, I can't forgive myself. Why did I allow this to happen? Or why did I allow this certain person in my life and all that? You need to forgive yourself. That's the only time you will start healing when you learn to forgive yourself. And then secondly, you need to forgive the next person. Because if you don't forgive... These people are busy living their happy life. You don't even know where they are. They have hurt you. They left damage there. And you are the only one who is there. So forgiveness is like, if you struggle to, to not forgive this person, it's like uh, drinking poison, expecting that person to die. That person won't die. But you are killing yourself. Day by day, you are killing yourself. That is why I, I got to learn last year that... Um, unforgiveness or not forgiving someone is like a cancer it's like cancer killing you step by step step by step so don't let un uh, unforgiveness spirit destroy your peace destroy another minute hour second from you let us 
learn to forgive or learn to, have, to forgive. I, I went through that process of, it's not easy, it's not easy, it's not easy, but you need to do that. You need to forgive yourself, you need to forgive the next person. That's the only way you can go through your journey. That's the only way you can help focus for you not holding grudges or holding anything against the next person that has done damage or have harmed you. So let us forgive. Because imagine you are in, in a house, right? You are in a house and then you close all the windows, you lock the door, you, you, you throw the key outside and then you start fire. You will be there burning and screaming. Nobody will come help you. Nobody knows if you are going through ABC. And that is why it's wise to tell someone, talk to a, a trusted adult or to someone from church or just a close person person that you trust and you talk to them because it's gonna kill you if you don't talk that silence will destroy and kill you that is where suicide comes in people tend to commit suicide just because they don't talk to anybody they go through things and they just don't share they don't talk they don't share how will we know if you don't share anything so you are killing yourself step by step, step by step. It doesn't just happen in a day by you are gone dead, but you will kill yourself. And by killing yourself is by destroying your peace, joy, love, or your confidence. And also it, it brings depression and every time you'll be so aggressive and all just, just because you are not talking. And it gives you that isolation moment that you just want to be on your own and you don't want to do anything with anyone and all that. So let us practice to forgive. Like, let us forgive. Start with yourself, forgive yourself, and then you forgive the next person. It works. Trust me. I've been through that. It worked for me. And I believe it's going to work for you too. So my last encouragement to you guys is that don't, don't start your next chapter while you are still on the main head of the, 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 the past chapter. Close this chapter and then go to the next chapter. Because if you don't close this chapter of hate, of disappointment, then you will bring your bitterness to the next chapter. And you don't want that to happen to you because it will still destroy the next chapter that you are going through. And then your past only has the power if you give it to it. You have the final say, you have the power, and if you allow your past to overpower you, hey, yeah, 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 then I don't know what you want for your life. For. <laughs> so your past can't hurt you unless you allow your past to hurt you. So that's the end of my video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching till the end. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. I don't know what you are waiting for, but do subscribe. Let's go to 200 subscribers in this month, Feb. My phone messages. So let's go to 200 subscribers this um, month in Feb and um, share a comment, share your thoughts, and Yep. Till next time. Till next time. And guys, don't forget. Don't forget to leave your comment if you want a sister tech or a friend tech. Please, please. I'm going to do that next week if you tell me which video I should start with. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bye, guys. Till next time.